Welcome to IT Support. Um, one of the things that I will review is this aggregation switch. And that's going to come up fairly soon, probably the next video. But I wanted to uh, kind of share what I'm doing uh, for those who are interested in this kind of stuff. I have this aggregation switch that's old and it needs to come out. And I have this new one right here from Unify Ubiquity. Uh, and we are going to be switching over the fiber connections uh, to the new one. Because uh, our license for this one is about to expire. However, um, I also have this uh, switch that will be removed. It's an HP switch. Um, but that's for a later date. Right now, one of my biggest struggles um, is trying to make heads or tails of what everything is going to be leading to, which is important. I kind of got to know where it's all going. Uh, but this is the switch that's going in. Uh, SFP ports and stuff. It's pretty cool. I also have this thing down here where I have some fiber that needs to go in here. This is like a patch panel but for fiber. Whereas this is a patch panel but for patch cable. Copper. Uh, so this is just, this can't stay like this. This is ultimately going to go uh, in this that black box is going to sit here and here and uh, this is going to go up underneath and then the uh, fiber, one of these fibers that's going right here it's going to go underneath it it's going to go on the underside here and then on the top side we're going to just uh, plug into the new aggregation switch and then I have this other network up here uh, so there's that whole black box it's only going to have two uh, fiber uh, to it uh, but because uh, all the other fiber is already right there but uh, part of this move is I'm going to uh, organize all of this this fiber I'm going to think I want to move try to like neatly do it behind and then have it come up front and then uh, when I'm getting ready to replace this I'm going to order a bunch of shorter cables so that instead of having this kind of do this circle do I'm just going to have it go right here uh, and that should make the whole thing a lot neater but that's what I'm doing so now we have the um Back box and um, I went through and I labeled all the wires. I just put flags on them and trace them all. So the next step I have to do is to uh, um, I'm going to manage these um, multi-mode fibers n neatly, uh, and then I got to work with. Uh, met the one who does the other network I, I just I do one network here and then this guy who does a separate network but our stuff is not a good so that's his stuff up here so this fiber right here it goes to both uh, networks so I gotta work with him uh, so that we can put this underneath here this will lift up like this this wire will loop and uh, it will be populated in these and from there we can hop over and then hop up here but that should be everything uh, so we're going to break and then come back uh, at a later time and date maybe just time if we can do it today and then switch the aggregation switch over. Uh, we have to buy more LC wires.
because this is all LC. Whereas many of this is SC. So we don't have any LC laying, this is a multi mode laying around. We got plenty of LC single mode cables, but we just need to get like a few feet. Anyway, when we come back, we'll switch everything over. We have a blinking light. That's good. The problem with these two being right next to each other with the long cord is like, I'm not exactly sure what to do with it, but I'm pull out. You're the pull out and pull that down pull this out you then are going to have to slip it in like that Interesting. Right. so now it's time to go and and test to make sure everything is connected then can get to the internet. Uh, but we are now all on the new aggregation switch. I'm going to leave this one running in case I, have, I need to go back to it and pinch. But I don't think so. The next thing is to um, change these with shorter cables. So that they'll just, it's just going to go right from there to there. But I gotta, we got some switches. Two 48 port switches are going to go and replace this. Uh, as you saw, I I routed this cable in as far back as I could go. This was too short. So I had to compromise and put it underneath. Uh, but now it's not like just drooping on the floor and hanging everywhere. Uh, so that's a lot better. Plus, I got it all labeled. So, where's that? All right, time to go test. So I just came from testing the final destination. Uh, all my locations are up and running except for one, but that was down before, so I'm not terribly concerned about that, but I will eventually have to take care of it. Might have to switch that location to a new pair of fiber. Um, but yeah, so. Next step would be to route that loose fiber up into the fiber patch panel so that we can um, uh, get that all taken care of. All right, see you later.